Well, Lynn, when I think about your impact on the Arts Council, I think about several things. Uh, early education, childhood education, you, you started with a lot of those programs. Uh, performing arts at festival, and certainly with Winter Tales. And um, so talk to us a little about, about each of those areas. Well, let me start with Winter Tales. I think that um, we had brought in uh, an individual storyteller and who was received quite well. And we said, well, why don't we just bring in more and have an evening of different kinds of storytellers? And, and it went so well, we were just delighted. And I think the people in Oklahoma City enjoyed it. Um, I remember we brought in a fellow, Unc, his name was Unc Dick, Uncle Dick. <laughs> And he knew stories about early Oklahoma and the farmers and the farmers' wives and what have you. And then we would bring in people who told beautiful, beautiful, uh, rich folk tales and uh, myths. And um, and so I felt that we all we offered something new to to our city. Um, glad we did it. And now that came the territory tellers. Absolutely. It, the, first ter territory teller meeting was held in this room and we didn't know really what to call ourselves and we thought well we're from Oklahoma Territory and we'll just call ourselves the territory tellers. And still it's going I'm assuming. Still yes. going yeah. the, the name um, so, has held on. Yeah I think uh, wasn't the first storytelling thing we did wasn't it in the summer? Didn't we do it around the we 4th of July? We did it in the summer uh -huh, the 4th of July yeah. and then from then on switched it to winter time because because we like the name so well that we need to switch to winter time. <laughs> well, well and and stories are traditionally told sure. in uh, the Irish call it the coming in when it starts getting dark early in the fall they begin to tell the stories and then in the winter that's the time for stories and that's true with Native American uh, uh, cultures too. Okay.